If you've seen this channel before, you'll be aware that I have somewhat strong views. And for the last couple of years, the pronoun nonsense is a topic that really boils my piss. The entitled people who think their pronouns, which of course we mainly use when the person isn't present, shouldn't be the ones that align with their biological sex. So if I said my pronouns are she, they, because these are people who think that the rules that apply to the rest of society shouldn't apply to them because they're too bloody special. But I've never claimed to be an expert. I'm a layman, a lay person, a lay they them, as it were. Luckily, though, I've got a clip coming up of a doctor who'll explain it to us. Did you know that it actually does matter if you use someone's correct name and pronouns? Studies have shown that when adolescents have people across any setting, home, school, friends, use their chosen pronoun, they have better mental health outcomes. So what do parents need to know about pronouns? I'm Dr. Angela Cade Getford. I'm the medical director of the Gender Health Program here at Children's Minnesota, and I use they, them pronouns. So what is a pronoun? Well, we all have them. We all use pronouns. We all refer to each other with some kind of pronoun, usually she or he, sometimes they or them, or sometimes new pronouns that you might not have heard of. Using someone's pronoun is a way to let them know that you see them, that you understand them, and that you're going to refer to them in the way that they want to be seen. So if your child or teenager shares with you that they would like to try using a different pronoun, it would be a good idea to try it. It could be hard. Maybe you've never known anyone that's used they, them pronouns before. Me may have a- The first question I have is, how does one get to be a doctor, a doctor of gender, no less, when one doesn't understand very basic biology? There are only two sexes, and she is a female. And I'll say she, I'm not using they, them, because there isn't more than one person there. But because she uses they, them pronouns, in my opinion, she will be an insufferable narcissist. Everyone who uses they, them, or neo pronouns, they're all of that ilk. People devoid of personality, desperate to appear interesting, so they introduce some daft pronouns. In fact, if you meet anyone who begins a conversation with my pronouns are, run for the hills, avoid them like the fucking plague. They're the modern equivalent of... Many years ago, people would introduce themselves along the lines of, hi, you'll love me, I'm really crazy. To which I would reply, what part of your paranoid schizophrenia will I find particularly endearing? The good doctor begins by saying using a person's correct pronouns is beneficial to their mental health or words to that effect. But then she buggers it up by saying preferred pronouns. Now, I'm old school. I believe that mental illness should be treated, not encouraged. So if you have a male child, he, him pronouns should be applicable. And the doctor fails to mention many, many studies which have found that for the vast majority of gender-confused youths, most of them grow out of it. It's just a phase. It used to be common for teenage girls, once they hit puberty, to develop anorexia nervosa, whereas now they're told they're probably boys and they're in the wrong body. And there was a long-term study, and I apologise I don't have the title for it, but it looked at what happened to males who in adolescence thought they were female. When they got to adulthood, most of them just turned out to be gay. And of course, unless you're some religious nut job, there's nothing wrong with homosexuality. It's got to be preferable to putting a boy on puberty blockers and booking him in for irreversible surgery. I'm guessing for the doctor, it's a case of misery loves company. Or at least, if she can encourage children to use they, them pronouns, then she won't feel as isolated. And of course, just a few generations ago, if a family had a son who thought he was a daughter, or vice versa, these were the kids that were locked in the attic, doomed to live out their days in a similar fashion to a minor character in a novel by one of the Bronte sisters. Whereas now, woke parents and teachers seem to be competing to prove their child is the most insane. Oh yes, little Jeremy, he enjoyed the Barbie movie, so now we're putting him in pink dresses and we're going to chop his penis off. If you see a cross-dressing child, it's like seeing someone who says they have a vegan dog. We all know who's really in charge. Now, I'm not a parent, but if I were, 
if I had a son who came to me and said, Dad, I think I'm a girl, my approach would be, well, you're not, are you? And that's the end of that. Yet, in modern society, it appears to be almost fashionable to have a mental health problem. And I say this because in the last six months, countless adults I've seen online have self-diagnosed themselves with ADHD. And of course, that is a real condition. For some people, it's absolutely crippling. Yet, when I was a young lad, that condition didn't exist. Of course, back then, we didn't have the knowledge that we do now. But I can say, with hindsight, ADHD, it's possible to beat that out of a child. Because in the 1980s, when I was a very young lad, anyone displaying behaviour which now we would say is linked to ADHD, they were the children to which the teacher threw a blackboard eraser at their heads. And of course, a blackboard eraser is six inches of wood with felt on one side, which once propelled weighs approximately half a ton. And remarkably, once a child had been hit by one of these missiles, they developed the ability to concentrate through an entire class. Of course, I'm showing my age because blackboards were removed from British schools in the late 80s and early 90s, because apparently blackboard was a racist term. So they were replaced with whiteboards. Nope, me neither. Anyway, in the clip we saw, the doctor actually waffles on for around another minute. I won't subject you to that, just this very short, very surprising clip. And now they're asking you to call them the opposite pronoun. It's okay if you mess up. I have three kids of my own, and if they asked me to start calling them by different pronouns, I'm sure I would make mistakes. She's got three kids. It is a braver man than me that's shagging that. What's her other half like? I'm guessing he's some downtrodden, crestfallen individual, henpecked within an inch of his life, or maybe he's a man who's not yet ready to admit that he rather likes men. Because I've never been single and thought, for my next girlfriend, I hope I can find a woman who looks like that one uncle who we all know is on a register. In my opinion, I don't think we should be encouraging children to experiment with different pronouns, because in effect, we're asking them to experiment with whether they want to opt into reality. And I think eventually this will all blow over. In the future, we will look back at the early 2020s and wonder what the fuck were we thinking back then? And when that happens, all the non-binary types, the they, thems, the zers, the I've got a penis but I'm a woman brigade, reality is going to hit them fucking hard. And the only people who'll be celebrating are the therapists. Many years ago, I used to be a therapist. I know, I can't believe it either. And if I was still practicing today, if a client walked into my consulting room and it was the morbidly obese type with the greasy skin, the septum piercing and the blue hair, I'd be thinking, I'm making some money out of this. Fuck it, I'm booking Florida. That's the end of this video. If you've enjoyed it, please do like and subscribe. And as ever, thanks for watching. I have is how does one become a doctor if you don't understand very, very fuck it, got that wrong, by saying the correct pronouns and then uh, fuck that as well. In my opinion, which of course is the oh, it's fucking raining now. Joy. Three kids. For me to shag that, I need to put a splint on my old chap. Three kids. What? Oh, fuck, here it comes. There's some takes I'm not happy with, but I'm going to have to use them because the world is ending.